Okay. So recently I was working with a client on doing some shop drawings and this really wasn't like the typical thing that we do, but it, again, it was helping a friend. Uh, they needed some help in Revit. And one of the things that we ended up walking through together was um, really how long it ended up taking his team to uh, produce the drawings that they needed for their projects in Revit. Um, really, they were doing a lot of this in Bluebeam and markups. And I was showing them, hey, you could do this in Revit and you clean up the drawings the way that you're wanting to see everything. Um, fix all your layers, all that kind of stuff versus just what you were doing in Bluebeam. So in walking through this project with this client, I effectively showed them, you know, hey man, this is, you're not going to get any faster than what your team is doing, right? Like I'm going to maybe produce a better or different deliverable, but it's not going to necessarily be any faster than what you're currently getting from your team, right? Your team is doing the best they can with what they have. They're doing a good job. They're, you know, in the the time that you're telling me that, that it took, it's going to take me a similar amount of time doing it in Revit. I can just produce a cleaner result because I'm dealing with like the core files versus some other file that you were given that you're just adding on to. So one of the things that this really helped to remind me and bring uh, me back to is that when we look at projects and especially if you're managing leading teams, you're doing estimates, you're putting out proposals um, to really take a, another look at your team and maybe to go back through and walk through some of the designs and you know how long things actually take to end up doing on your projects, right? This is going to help you provide better proposals, better estimates, better prices, better everything for you and your projects, right? Once we elevate up into to management and are doing uh, proposals and fee estimates and all those kind of things, it's, you know, we're not always back in the day-to-day -day of doing the work on our projects, right? Whether that's in Revit and design or out in the field in construction uh, and doing the projects and actually executing the work. So when we think about these things, you know, we need to really have that good feedback from our team as to what it takes or to go out you know, again, whether that's getting our hands into Revit and doing some work there, watching our team do it, or getting out in the field and seeing our team execute the work to see how much time it actually takes to do. Um, again, this is going to help you produce better results, right? Have a better feel of how long things take. And then probably to add some slack into your schedules because other things come up, right? Other projects uh, come in, other unforeseeables come into play that you just couldn't account for. No matter what you do, uh, it's, you know, that whole law of like whatever uh, is unlikely to happen is probably going to happen kind of thing. So again, getting back in projects is going to be beneficial to you, your team, everybody to really understand what it takes to get it out the door, right? It's not that your team is slow by, you know, nature or that they're really trying to sabotage stuff. They're doing the best they can, right? To get that thing out the door. And it just takes time to, to get it out in the case of, of this client, you know, like, Hey man, I couldn't go any faster than, than your team could. I could just give you a different deliverable because I dealt with different files than your team was dealing with. So again, neither good nor bad, right? Just a different deliverable. Uh, one, you know, again, dealing with base files is going to be a lot cleaner than dealing with like PDFs and editing from there. So again, one of the things, so uh, think about a walkthrough with your team is just to see how long things actually take. It's probably going to be longer than you think. And uh, it'll help you to have better conversations with clients as you do that. It's going to help, help you to have uh, better pricing, better proposals, and really uh, help you not lose money on uh, the projects that you're proposing on. So hope this helps uh, for you to walk through with your team to really understand again and just refresh yourself on what it takes to get a project out the door.